I'll premiere. Uh, be ready to go. Just specifically, what what accusations are is the government making uh, specifically against who when it comes to what happened? Well, I, I think we'd see in in light of uh, what occurred yesterday, which which is very troubling. Uh, first time, uh, it, to, to my knowledge, in the history of the province that. Uh, government operations has, have actually been shut down uh, in this house due to, um, you know, actions of uh, of many, um, and there is, you know, very obvious uh, at least one member of the the NDP caucus that was uh, involved in in sharing some of the social media posts and organizing uh, the event yesterday. There's comments in the media yesterday with respect to that was always their their intent of the group was to uh, hold the government to account, and so the. The question that we have for the leader of the opposition is uh, one to be uh, very straight and frank with the people of Saskatchewan. Is she confident that uh, none of the, her members uh, were involved uh, in, in what essentially equated to shutting down uh, the government for the first time in the history of the province? Can what, you uh, just uh, review why you think that she was involved? Because I'm missing, I guess, something direct. Obviously, she has sympathy for the group that was in the gallery. Obviously, uh, she stood in, in, in solidarity with them. but. Sometimes NLAs take controversial positions. Why do you think she was part of the organization? Program? Well, also sharing uh, the, uh, you know, some of the social media of the group coming down here to begin with, and so it isn't on me uh, to, uh, you know, to prove uh, this individual's innocence. Uh, it's on the leader of the opposition, and she should, uh, in my opinion, be straight with the people of Saskatchewan and uh, ensure, you know, conduct uh, the necessary you know, internal uh, inquiry to ensure that none of her members were involved in, in what, it, what it amounted to shutting down the government for the first time in history. This is a, uh, you know, it was a troublesome day yesterday. The, 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 the protesters had said uh, one of the things that provoked them yesterday was seeing the flag here and that maybe the absence of the flag wouldn't have been such a reaction. Uh, I know the flag came down for a couple of days, it's back up now. Yeah. What's your response to that? Uh, 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 yeah. And it'll be up until uh, the, the lighting of the menorah uh, uh, here. And uh, they, uh, you know, I'd also point to what I read uh, with respect to uh, some of the comments yesterday that this was always their intent. Um, this it was their intent to, uh, to in, in any way hold the government accountable. And so, uh, you know, I would hope that there are no members of the Legislative Assembly that are sitting on the floor that um, are, are part of what essentially was an extremist action in shutting down uh, a functioning government, shutting down uh, the operations of government. Um, but comments made uh, just prior to uh, the sitting yesterday around uh, the actions of Israel, um, the actions of Israel uh, being equating them to genocide, um, that those are the words of an extremist individual. Uh, and the, the leader of the opposition uh, has a responsibility to Saskatchewan people to ensure that None of her members uh, in her caucus uh, were part of shutting down the government in this province yesterday. What's the government's position on the ceasefire for humanitarian aid specifically? That's what has been asked yeah. for by some leaders. Yeah. What's your position on that specific request? Yeah, listen, I'd be very clear uh, with respect to a, uh, a ceasefire, and, and the government position has been very clear uh, around uh, you know, supporting uh, Israel's right to, to defend themselves. Um, we had a ceasefire. Uh, up until a terrorist-led organization, Hamas, uh, invaded Israel, killed over a thousand Israelis. Uh, many of them uh, were citizens from other countries, including seven from this country, our country of Canada, and then took a couple of hundred, uh, at least, um, of hostages uh, back and are using uh, Palestinian, the Palestinian public uh, as, as human shields. What is happening here is extremely, extremely troubling. And uh, this government has been very clear uh, with respect to uh, the support that we have uh, for Israel. Um, and that continues. Do you support a ceasefire now? Pardon me? Do you support a ceasefire right now? With, with res we, we support, I just said, we support Israel having the right uh, to defend themselves. We have a terrorist-led organization that has uh, Israeli individuals using Palestinian public, uh, the Palestinian public in hospitals and such as, as human shields. We had a ceasefire, um, and a terrorist-led organization ended that. So is your only evidence you have are these social media posts? It's, it's on the leader of the opposition to ensure that um, 
none of her caucus members had anything to do with shutting down the government yesterday. Is that the evidence you have as your social media? Well, you, you see uh, extremist comments in the lead up uh, to the House yesterday where they equate what is happening um, and Israel's actions as genocide. We made the comparison of, you know, where the NDP has been in, in years gone by. Tommy Douglas had said that uh, Israel is the light of democracy in a night of darkness. And now we see today the NDP actually uh, referring to Israel's actions as, as genocide. Um, that, those are extremist statements, um, and it's a responsibility that the leader of the opposition has as to ensure uh, that she is straight with Saskatchewan people, and none of the extremist individuals in her caucus had a hand in shutting down the government of this of this province. It's a big I'm shutting down the government because I've been here for a while. I've seen other things that were probably more violent and more of a dangerous situation within the confines. People pounding on that door right there to get into the yeah. chamber, people pounding on yeah. the door. That didn't happen yesterday. Yeah. I agree with you yeah. in terms of how loud and, yeah. and perhaps wrong they were to basically interrupt democracy. Yeah. But is anything served by saying that they shut down government when they were actually trying to get government's attention wrongly or rightly, I guess, but wrongly for uh, for whatever perceived uh, uh, direction you've gone. This is this 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 is a house for the public. Uh, you know, people are welcome here. There's there were school groups here yesterday as well. Uh, I don't know if anyone talked to any of the school groups and asked them, uh, you know, what they thought of the day and whether they were nervous uh, uh, throughout the day. There was breast cancer survivors here yesterday as well. I don't know if any of you interviewed any of the breast cancer uh, survivors that were in the gallery uh, here yesterday and asked them uh, you know, what they thought of the day and whether uh, you know they were nervous, whether it be for their own safety or, or whether they thought what was happening was in any way uh, right. And so this is a public's house and I would hope that it continues to be the public's house. And so uh, what happened yesterday was wrong. Um, and the leader of the opposition has a responsibility to ensure that none of her members had a hand in it. I agree with you, it was wrong. I agree with that too. Obviously, the house was shut down, yeah. but was anybody's safety really at risk? They disassembled. I didn't get the opportunity to talk to the school groups. I, I, if any of you did, I would ask if you asked that question, if they felt their safety was at risk. I walked among the crowd yesterday and I did not feel threatened. I'm a yeah. sad old man. Yeah. So like, yeah. Who you have to so <laughs> But like, I mean, it, it, the fact of the matter is, I don't think that there was much in the group. They were loud and they were noisy. And I might not agree with them or like what they were yeah. doing, but I respect their right to Democrats against feelings, no, yeah. I guess. Nobody so, has the right to shut down uh, the government operations. Well, it's the government's choice, basically, yeah. to... It was the Speaker's choice. Yeah, the Speaker's choice recess at the time, which I get. But I guess what I'm asking again is, do you really think that there was a, like a, a safety threat uh, to anyone? Well, I don't think it's on government to decide if it's a safety threat or not. I, I think, and I'd ask you again, if you asked any of the other public uh, attendees that were here, the breast cancer survivors, the, uh, the, the, the school groups that were, that were here, you know, at any point in time, did they think uh, that their safety was in any way compromised? I, you, you would know the answer to that better than me. Uh, you were here yesterday, um, I, I suspect, asking everyone questions. Do you have any concerns about um, losing support from uh, Muslim supporters who were here yesterday, they're not people we spoke to or from other countries, uh, not Palestinians, um, but some of them said that they... Well, this, is, this isn't about support. Uh, you know, this isn't about like, this isn't about support. Uh, this is about the operations of government being able to conduct uh, in the house. Um, they were unable to yesterday. Um, there is links of uh, of opposition uh, MLAs uh, being involved in um, spreading the information or organizing uh, the event that ultimately shut down government for the first time in the history of the province yesterday. And so, what I've said today is very clear: the leader of the opposition has a responsibility to um, ensure that. She is being straight with Saskatchewan people and, and, and telling them whether or not that's the case. That's the question I pose. What's your, what's your position on what your members uh, invite groups in? Is there a discussion about how they should behave themselves? Like, so what would you do in this circumstance um, if there's someone that caused a disturbance in the gallery who was a guest of, of one of your MLAs? Or well, if, if one of my MLAs had brought them in actively uh, was part of uh, not only bringing them here, but organizing the actual disturbance like we saw, um, we would certainly uh, look into that and there would be consequences with respect to that. I, as a hypothetical question, so I cannot tell you what those consequences would be. Uh, that same question is fair for the Leader of the Opposition um, and I, I don't know what the consequences would be in that instance. You spend on how you think Ms. Bowles, right? Uh, and so that's what you're referring to, helped. Uh, At least. Or, uh, helped uh, orchestrate the disturbance. I saw this. Uh, 
but I, heard, I thought it was after the chanting started. Yeah, or, or or it could be her her words, her extremist views of uh, connecting uh, Israel's actions to genocide uh, prior to uh, prior to question period even beginning. That it could be that it could be the sharing of uh, the the uh, uh, the material going in. Um, all of those are answers that I would hope the leader of the opposition would be able to provide to you and through you to Saskatchewan people. Is that what your government's asking? I think you have a sense your motion that's that's being considered. Right no, now. I, I won't comment on. Uh, you know what's happening uh, with respect to the house business, um, but uh, I, I think uh, beyond anything that happens on the floor of the legislature, the leader of the opposition uh, does have a responsibility uh, to be straight and forthright and honest with the people of Saskatchewan. Is the member uh, Ms. Carr uh, uh, alleging that Ms. Bowes gave the government benches the finger? I saw uh, no. I saw a number of. Uh, uh, you know, expressions, uh, we'll call them uh, in there, none of them good, um, and one in particular that was not very good at all. We'll leave, uh, we'll leave, <laughs> yeah, loot, loot was a, I guess that would be a, a way to uh, assess at least one of the, uh, the expressions I saw, but we'll leave that uh, uh, assessment for the speaker. The people here. It's quite a strong word. So is genocide. A loaded word. So is genocide. So you're saying that's the right word to use in reference extremist. to There's an extremist individual that made comments around Israel's action uh, being a genocide yesterday, of which uh, I, I think she should a a answer for and explain uh, to Saskatchewan people. We were here in this very assembly today, um, mourning and remembering uh, 90 years ago an actual genocide uh, in the whole of um, And so the uh, the 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 words of uh, of an NDP MLA in comparing Israel's actions to genocide, she should be able to exp to explain them. Uh, in my opinion, uh, they're the words of an extremist element, and is what we are actually seeing. Uh, the NDP uh, ultimately being today is a, a gathering of of extremist individuals. With them calling it, you know, asking for a ceasefire and for the government to you know take actions, what power do you feel you feel the provincial government has in making a difference overseas there? Well, we don't have an army uh, that's operating overseas, and we're not a national uh, government. We're a subnational entity, and so uh, it would be uh, a call at best, or, or you know, I, I don't know exactly what uh, the the ask is there as far as, as actual action. Uh, we've been very clear on our position. Uh, there was a ceasefire. Uh, that ceasefire ended when uh, terrorists led Hamas uh, came in, uh, killed over a thousand Israelis. Seven of those individuals were Canadians. Um, and captured uh, a number. Of, uh, of and took a number of hostages back and are using uh, Palestinian individuals as, as human shields. Uh, it is a most unfortunate of, uh, of events, uh, but I think we can see where the war crimes actually uh, would lie, and that's with a terrorist-led organization uh, such as Hamas. Is there anywhere you would um, ask those protesters, you know, that were here to direct their, their attention to anywhere, you know, they, you say they should go and, and make their voice heard? Um, with with three. <laughs> It, ultimately, I suppose the federal government, provincial government is fine as well. Uh, we've been clear with our position. And so we may not agree entirely on, on, our, on our positions, but we've been very clear on what the position of the government of Saskatchewan is uh, from the very beginning. Would you provide more details on like, the Lou gesture? Like, just offer any uh, again, I, 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 there was a number of gestures. Um, I'll, I'll wait for the, uh, the speaker to rule on, on that particular gesture. Um, I, I'm not going to imitate it or anything if that's what you're asking. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Okay. What's your feeling on the hospital bombing? I'm sorry, on which? The hospital bombing in Gaza. Which one? Well, the one that's in which the... Well, again, this is, uh, you know, this, this is the... The, the unfortunate situation that we uh, in, in, in the world, and I would say Israel, and, and the people of Palestine uh, find themselves in. We have a terrorist-led organization that is uh, not releasing hostages after multiple asks, um, but is ultimately b putting those hostages behind uh, human shields. And that's what, that's what we're seeing, and it's, it's a terribly unfortunate uh, situation. Uh, but I would point back that we, we did have a ceasefire, and that ended. Yeah. Thank you, everybody.